<laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of E Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and today we're going to be playing a new early access title uh, that actually just came out here less than 24 hours ago on Steam. And the name of this game is Soldiers of the Universe. A very epic sounding title. Let's find out if the game lives up to said epic title. Roll intro. Alright, so the game's in early access. Uh, there's a little bit of a, when, when you boot the game up, uh, it actually loads up with this early access disclaimer. So let's go into this game with our eyes wide shut and see what they have to say. Thank you for participating in the Soldiers of the Universe Early Access. The development process of our project will continue with the feedback of our community. During the Early Access period, you might, maybe, slight chance, experience bugs, unfinished features, and other problems that disrupt your gaming experience. We will be working to address these issues, addresses spelled wrong, with your feedback. For detailed information, please visit www.soldiersoftheuniverse.com. Rockwise Team. Now, rock-wise, let's flip that. Wise as rocks? I'm not familiar with that term, but I am familiar with the term dumb as rocks. So I don't know if I would use rock-wise as the name of my team, implying that our smarts are matched only by that of stone. But that's just me. So I'm just going to guess right here, right now, if this game is Soldiers of the Universe, then there must be alien bugs or creatures or something intergalactic in this game. Otherwise, it would just be soldiers of the Earth, soldiers of the globe, soldiers of this or that country. But no, it's soldiers of the universe. So kind of like guardians of the galaxy. They didn't just stay on Earth. They patrolled and had adventures in the galaxy. This is soldiers of the universe. So I'm going to be heavily disappointed if there are not alien creatures in this game. Let's take a look at the settings. Resolution, full screen, <laughs> resolution, 2560 by 1440. This game boasts dual resolutions. Quality, I've got it set to high because I'm tired of these crappy games bringing my system to its knees when I'm trying to record them at the same time. Sensivity, I'm guessing they meant sensitivity. Audio menu, subtitle, subtitle. We got dual subtitles going here. Let's roll straight into a new game, shall we? Uh, normal. Normal's fine. 15 July, 2016. White House. Dad? Son, I don't have much time. What's the matter, Dad? Are you okay? Hakan, I'm alright, but a homeland is under invasion. His face is palpable. I want you to stay calm and listen to me carefully. Traitors within the country have invaded the streets. It's a coup attempt. But this oh, time, no, not we a keep coup. everything under control. The Turkish government shall prevail this. But I need to leave the office right now. Dad? Dad? What's happening? Dad, can it you hear me? You managed to get, like, the it's furrowed, like, between Paramount. the brow going. We're That's good, at Turkey least. From now on. You're taking over nothing. I'm just sad that I won't be there to watch you pay for everything that you've done. We're like the phoenix. We shall rise from our ashes again and again. Who says that? Nah, leave then. Dad? Dad? They just stapled his dad? dad's shirt to the dad, desk. no, please, no! <laughs> because that definitely was not the sound of a gun. Whoever you are, I'm gonna find you. And, and, I will end you. He has a unique set of skills that help him to find and take care of people. Liam Neeson is Universal Soldier. Cut to an amazing shot of wood. Oh, that bloom, though. Thank you, sir. There's either way too much bloom in this game, or else somebody just smeared my monitor with way too much Vaseline. Again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It happens. How come, my boy? Okay, this is riveting and all, but let's play a little game that I like to call Which Key on the Keyboard Skips Cutscenes? Let's start with the all-time favorite of Escape. No dice. How about Spacebar? We've got a winner. 
Okay, so for whatever reason, whenever you skip scenes in this game, it actually tells my recording software that the game is turned off. So, if there was a bit of a jarring uh, transition there, that's why. So this game is channeling its inner call of duty, which would lead me to believe that the next shot will be a satellite in orbit. Okay. In true Call of Duty fashion, there's a bunch of stuff on the screen that looks impressive. But most of it doesn't even have data connected to it. Terrain mapping for no reason, just cuz. And some very poorly rendered mountains that are so blurry I can't even tell that they're mountains starting from now we're going to address each other using our mission names introduce yourself soldiers I'm double-headed eagle eagle in short I'll be your double-headed eagle I am triple-toed sloth I'm quadruple-legged puppy you can just call me Hulk I'm the weapon expert sniper of the team okay here to lift your spirits up. Well, they named me Wise Owl, but I don't think that'll be necessary. You could just basically call me absolutely brilliant Mr. Super Duper Hyper All. What? <laughs> or just like it. You know, I'll be your eyes on land Mr. Super air. Duper Hyper Owl. Here of the team. Okay. My name is Vulture. Let's I'm see if that space bar still works for skipping scenes. And it does. All right. This game's getting better already. We're at three kilometers south of the Jizra city. We're in safe zone now. With my command, we'll move on to our operation area. So in typical modern shooter fashion, we got a bunch of grays. We got a bunch of tans. Whoa! It's an ambush. Okay. These guys are like crack shots. Is that a barrel? Holy cow. Okay, there are barrels everywhere. Every enemy in this game has his own personal barrel. It's so foggy. I think that's an enemy. I can't even tell. And I don't I don't even know if I hit him. Let's duck behind some. Okay. The duck in this game is horrific. And by that I mean there really is no duck in this game. Okay, at least the jump works. Okay. The physics are wild. I mean, they're really crazy. And the blood splatter is hilarious. <laughs> you, sir, have some crazy levels of uh, situational awareness. Nobody is sneaking up on this soldier. This universal soldier. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? So we're going to do what every developer does not want you to do. Let's take a look around this level. I mean, they're hoping you're so sucked into the riveting combat that you won't actually bother to look around. So we're going to look around can't get through. Okay, yeah, you can jump over it. So out there, we've got some trees, some mountains, really bad skybox. Okay, that's fair. It's par for the course for uh, a bad game. Oh, okay, I get it. So the enemies are crack... <laughs> Sorry. The enemies are crack shots, so you're supposed to, like, sneak around and get them um, by, like, going through the... Going the alley. Okay. So there is an invisible wall here. Pro tip for the developers. I know that you don't want to like break the feng shui of this map here that you've created because I mean you've really made something special here. But rather than doing an invisible wall just take ugly building number one and ugly building number two 
and sandwich another ugly building in between them and just do away with the invisible walls. It breaks the already, you know, intense immersion that's going on here. I say immersion. Oh, man. All right. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but I'm guessing it smells terrible. Because it looks like crap! Sorry. What is that? Is that a... I thought that was like an earthworm. <gasps> is that an alien tentacle? Is the universal soldier part finally coming to pass? No, it's just really bad rebar. What is going on here? I cannot move forward. Is it an invisible wall that blocks off this... No, I could... Okay, there's like a building here that they forgot to like render in. Yeah, yeah, there's like a, there's a building right here. You can shoot through it, but it's just like a big invisible square. Oh, we got a guy. <laughs> oh. Is that? You guys are seeing, my bullets are like, okay, we're, I, I'm hit. <laughs> what the heck? What is going on here? <laughs> what? What? Okay. That is a stapler. That is not the sound of a firearm. That is the sound of somebody firing staples. The, yeah, I I believe you have my stapler. It... Mm. Can you hurt your teammates? No. No, you can't. Got it. Headshot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Surprise, mother... Where... Oh, my word. Is there a guy up there or not? All right, let's go around. Uh, we're getting kind of low on ammo. I noticed earlier when I was near one of my teammates, it said something about press E. Can I pick up the weapon? QX file music. Okay, that was weird. Okay, I want you to look at the triangle, and then look where... What is going on with the bodies out there? Whoa, 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 I'm getting hit. These guys are like crack shots. Is there a dog? <laughs> Did you hear? It was like... Do we have, like, a K-9 unit with us? <laughs> Vulture. Alright, Vulture. Whatever you do, don't stand up. What is going on with the aiming reticle? Are you kidding me right now? So I have to aim, like, way over to the right. So the bullets are falling in line with the post on the rifle, the front the front post. But then, as far as the height you have to aim at, you have to aim at the height of the red dot, but center it off of your weapon's post. I don't know if this was intentional. It can't be. Oh, it's so broken. Oh, you poor the game. You are so, so broken. I guarantee you any headshot I'm getting is just absolute luck. This is the most unintuitive combat I have ever seen in a game. Ever. Sure. Sure, why not? Oh. 
Um, so it's a fenced in gorge, I think. So I've secured the bridge. I mean, this is the bridge, right? It looks like we got it. Whoa, okay, where's the where's the fire coming from? Whoa, okay. It's okay. We got cover. Okay. Oh wow, there's a guy up there. Oh my gosh, aiming is so bad. Like if you're actually in a firefight, you're screwed. Cause it's it's a it's a crapshoot as to if you're <laughs> Those physics. Whoa, where are you? Oh, there you are. What is going on? How am I getting slow down? This game looks like just garbage. What is it that the, it's my computer's having trouble running here? There he is. You're kidding me. Okay, so there used to be a barrel here and it blew up. The game is acting like the barrel is still there and getting caught on the... No, am I... Yes. Oh my... Okay. Wait a minute. It's all starting to make perfect sense. The invisible walls? The characters spinning in circles? Universal soldier? Do you not see what's happening here? This isn't a military sim. This is an alien experiment. We're inside of some sort of like mind control VR experience. It's testing us to see what our threshold for pain is. That's what's going on here. The only difference between this and a probe is this is more painful. Are you gonna probe us? Why does everyone always assume that? What am I doing? Am I harvesting farts? Secure the river line. <sighs> secure the bridge, so now I gotta secure the... Whoa! So you can't aim worth a darn, but these guys are like crack shots. I mean, they are all snipers. So at least I can go in the truck. I don't know if I want to. Look at that. Those textures. Oh, we got guys. Let's light them up. <laughs> it's just funny to me. I'm getting a headshot, but I can't see a thing. My team's like, you know what, brah? You're on your own. Oh, no, no, I got a guy up here. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm actually, I'm falling behind them. So, only one of your teammates can actually give you ammo. The other guys just give you moral support and... That's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I get him? Because I can't see a thing once I start firing. Forward here. You will do this four times with the left, four with the right. Sure, I'll take ammo. Oh wow, that would have been bad. Am I? Okay, I I thought. Is that body move? Oh, everybody respawns. Awesome. Thank goodness. I was afraid that I'd miss some of the action. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Headshot. Let me hide behind this explosive barrel. I'm sure that won't end badly.
Oh, okay. My teammate ran by me. Alright, let's go in like John Rambo. Let's not go in like John Rambo. I don't know why, for having so much long-ranged combat, they didn't just give you, like, a sniper rifle. Man, these guys... The Game duck seven. is so pitiful! It's like your knees are seriously just locked. Is that a guy? Okay, yep, sure was. wall. That is a dog! That is not a human being. That is a, that is like a puppy. Oh, fantastic. My, like, teammate, like, glitched into me. What is going on here? I can't. There we go. Looks like that guy was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because, like, strawberry jam went everywhere when I shot him. Are you kidding me right now? Let's try out the pistol, shall we? <laughs> okay. This game is the Where's Waldo of enemy soldiers. It's like, hey, in all of this gray and brown and drab green, please try to pick out the gray and brown and drab green soldier. Oh, and by the way, we're going to throw in so much fog. And crap aiming mechanics on top of that, too. Um, and, uh, if you, if you managed to actually hit a soldier after all of that, well, by golly, you should feel good about yourself because you just accomplished the unaccomplishable. Riverline is secure. Keep following the coordinates on your compass. That's it, guys. I can't take it anymore. The aliens win. Their mind control experiment has proved to be a success because... I can't take the pain. They say if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Well, in this case, if you can't take the absolute crap game mechanics, then get out of the Universal Soldier program. And you know what? I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for hunting bugs. I signed up for taking out terrorists. I signed up for protecting the galaxy. But you know what I didn't sign up for? I didn't sign up for wading through piles of human feces. And that's what this game is equivalent to. This game is bad, guys. I mean, really bad. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, this game is like a porcupine in a sleeping bag. And that's where you're curling up tonight. It's that level of bad. And I don't even know what that means. It is... Early access, beta, alpha finished product. It doesn't matter. You can put any title in front of this that you want to. and It's not going to do a bit of good. This game's not going to... Are you serious? 
this game's not gonna change that much from where it's at now. When you get shot, you reel like a drunken sailor that just got shore leave after six months on the ocean. I, I get it. Getting shot with a bullet in real life would be horrific, terrible, horrible. I don't want to experience that. You don't want to experience that. What is that body doing? This game has all the fun of sitting there and putting on your grandfather's bifocals, wading out into a foggy morning with a Nerf gun and trying to kill a grizzly bear. My teammates are nowhere to be found. They've given up. They, they have chartered the plane, it has picked them up, and they have gone home because they, they just, they can't take it. Look at this. This is where my teammates are. They are all the way back here. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? That's what was causing them to stay there all this time. There was an enemy up here that was like, just didn't feel like getting in the last firefight, apparently. The game runs like crap. And it shouldn't. I mean, it's basically modern warfare and duck hunt mixed. That's what you're playing here. The other day I played a game that I thought was the pinnacle of bad games that I had played this year. This game is worse. The invisible walls, the um, spinning characters, buttons randomly just failing to work, just quitting on you like sprint or duck. Um, your, your reticle desyncing from where your actual rounds are going downrange. Um, it is hideous. It is a completely linear level game. Yeah, they sunk the buildings just into the terrain just willy-nilly, however, however they felt like it. Some barrels, like, look at this. Some barrels in the game don't explode. There's barrels everywhere. It is hideous. I mean, the game is just so ugly. This is 2017. Now, here's the thing. If I made a game like this, I wouldn't be like, oh, man, this game's going to be great. We're, this is one of the first games to come out of Turkey. Come on, guys. Like, why? Why are you doing that? Why are... Look at this. Look at that. This is... This is a disgrace. I don't... I, this is a disgrace to... Anybody who made it, this is a disgrace. The, the, things clip in. The, the game has a hard time loading in textures. There's nothing to load. It's like the same five buildings that are just used over and over and over again. I have no idea what they were thinking when they were making this. And, I mean, this is, this is little more than a, a horrendous tech demo for the Unreal Engine 4. I mean, this is just... This is garbage. Um... I, I, so, why was the game named Universal Soldier? I'm sticking to my original theory that this game was named Universal Soldier because in all actuality, this is an alien simulation. These, these gentlemen were abducted and have been placed inside of a simulation where they are being tested uh, to see just how much tolerance for pain human beings have. But you know what? The aliens have made one gross miscalculation. Clearly, they're planning on invading us um, and feel that they will have no issue overtaking us, but they didn't take into account that the Earth is not covered in fog 24-7, and that will be their undoing. We'll actually be able to see them. There's something floating out there. I don't know. It's a tank. It's just... it's. Oh, nope. There's the building. Just kidding. Building's gone. There it is. It's gone again. Um, so, yeah. Don't, whatever you do, stay as far away from this game as possible. Run. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so much. And whatever you do, don't like, don't subscribe, don't tell anybody about this game. At least the alien overlords take notice and decide to abduct me. Have a great day.